knows where this road is supposed to lead We got nothing but time As long as you're right here next to me Everything's gonna be alright If it's meant to be Hello, my warriors and visitors. Welcome to Mr. Zena's Jury Hall number five. As you can see right here today, I am showing you what I have named the turquoise blue Egyptian necklace. And people might want to say, why did I put the Egyptian in there? Like these little designs right here, I've seen those on Egyptian necklaces. So I decided to name it that. Now we're going to pull it to the box. And that is the clip that we have on it. And once again, it is the Egyptian necklace. The um, turquoise blue because it's like a bluish in there like right about there even though that's tor that is really blue blue but this is really turquoise so when you put the two together they look almost the same that's why I should have said like maybe baby blue or something but they're still the same you can tell the difference when you look not right here. You can't tell the difference, but maybe up here somewhere a little bit. But it's not that far off, but I like it. Okay, this right here is a bracelet. It is called the Turquoise Blue. Again, <laughs> this one is a darker color. Um, Silver Green Cross. You see the green is in there. And you see the blue is around. When you look at it, you know, you can see the blue in this part right here. And the green is there. And the way you will wear this is this is your arm right here, right? It's going to be this way. Let me flip it. So on the top of your hand, which will be this part right here, this is going to hang off right up in there. So, it is really pretty. When I made it, I was like, oh my goodness, that is so beautiful the way it looks. And it just depends on what you are wearing. Depending on what you're wearing, you can really, really, really make this look very good. So, once again, it is the turquoise blue silver green cross. This is the blackish gold and leopard necklace. And you see the leopard is right there, the black and then the gold and then leopard again. So that's why I decided it should be the blackish gold and leopard necklace. This one right here is called the Baby Blue Beige Flower. This one is called the Pink and Silver Swirl Choker. I feel like I had looked up this, you know, what is the size of a choker and it gave it to me. It just depends on, you know, how close you want it on your neck. So this one is, um, I'm going to double check it, but when I measured it, it's 22 and a half and that's really not a choker. A choker is like 14, but this one right here, I'm not sure. I love it. It may stay in my family. 
I might have to purchase it myself <laughs> because I just love the way it looks. And I don't like stuff too tight on my neck. It took me ages to even wear jewelry because I just, it was too much of a weight on my neck at one time. But I learned how to wear it where I don't even feel it. But once again, it is called the Pink Silver Twirl Choker. This is the orange and silver heart flower. I haven't been showing all of them, but most of the clamps is going to be like that for this set of necklace. And I just thought this was so beautiful, the little heart. I, matter of fact, my my boyfriend picked it out he thought that was a pretty charm and it just depends on what you're wearing because like i said ladies if you're wearing a let's say i wear a lot of tank tops under my clothes so or should i say my blouse so let's say that i am wearing a white blouse with this on and maybe one of these colors is the shirt it will really bring this out or if i'm wearing a dress and let's say my dress is pink i know that sounds crazy on top of orange or my dress is blue so it just depends on what color you are wearing but you can really dress this up and it's really pretty this right here is called the Golden Bling Ball Unicorn. So you see the balls. Let me see. Let me fix this just a little bit. They're supposed to be this way. Okay, there we go. And that is it. The Golden Bling Ball Unicorn. I think that is so cute. This one right here, guys, anyone can wear it. A guy, a female, you know, however you want to do it. I know it look a little twisted. It's not like that. It's just I had to put it up there to wear because it's a long necklace. It is a 26. And I had to put it to where it will not fall. And it's called the Silver Bling Lock. And I got it from there. Because if you look at that, that looks just like the lock that was on your locker at school. Because if you look at around here, these were the numbers. And then this was the thing you twist. So I thought that was so cute. And that's what it is. The Silver Bling Lock. Now guys, that concludes my Jewelry Haul 005. If you have any questions, if you are interested, just go to my Instagram page, which will be right there. <laughs> and you will be able to ask me any questions, you know, anything that's on your mind, something that you may see that you're interested in, you know, something that you might want to see if I can create for you, whatever, whatever, whatever. But if you are not a subscriber and you're just a visitor go ahead and hit that subscribe button then click the notification button to be notified of all videos along with share this video let let people see what your girl doing what your girl is doing she's doing her thing took a while took some years but i'm doing my thing now i'm doing what i am who i'm all about i'm using the gift that my granny gave me to taught me how to be creative so, once again, I want to say thanks for watching. More to come. 
give it a big thumbs up because I know you enjoyed it. So later. So come on, ride away.